the amounts that we've seized over uh, the, just this year alone are staggering. So, and I don't see any sign of it letting up soon. Now at five, a heroin epidemic in Fort Wayne and Allen County. News Channel 15 uncovers new efforts to fight back. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brett Thomas. And I'm Heather Heron. As we showed you earlier this week, heroin use is exploding across the country, and police say our area isn't immune. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live in our newsroom tonight with how officials are trying to combat a growing problem. Today, I discovered a new task force is bringing together professionals from all aspects of the drug addiction issue, all trying to get addicts help and reverse what's being called a heroin epidemic. We have a heroin problem in Allen County. It's here. A nasty drug that grips its users. One of the people that died actually witnessed somebody else use it and die and still use that same drug anyway and died as well. So that's how strong that addiction is. The numbers tell the story. A slow growth of heroin use in Fort Wayne over the last seven years. But so far this year, heroin seizures are already almost double all of last year. One reason, people addicted to prescription painkillers switch when their meds run out. In Fort Wayne, pain doctor William Hedrick is charged with overprescribing pain meds after his arrest. The opiates that were being prescribed into the market, those pills have all dried up, and so heroin has become an option for the opiate dependent folks. One of the dealers we arrested was previously one of Dr. Hedrick's uh, patients. Now a new Allen County Opiate Task Force puts no, police and health care providers that. all at the same table, an effort to streamline the process for addicts to get help. What we're trying to do is not pay for people to be incarcerated, but to help them change to get their life back in order. Taking a holistic approach, looking at everything from education, what kind of education are our students receiving about this in the schools, to how to get specific care to addicted pregnant moms and access to Narcan. Narcan reverses a heroin overdose. It's on ambulances and people can now get prescriptions to have it. News Channel 15's been told the Fort Wayne Fire Department will also have Narcan on every truck, but an official announcement hasn't happened yet. That's huge because they're typically some of the first responders on the scene and the sooner they can get that Narcan into person's system, the better off that person is. The Opiate Task Force is still in its early stages of developing a formal plan of attack against the heroin problem. But if you or someone you know wants help now, there is a number to call. It's right there on your screen, 1-800-284-8439. Live in the newsroom, Ellis Ivinson, News Channel 15.